Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Hope you are okay on that side of the screen. And today here we are with the Asus Dash F15, which we haven't finished the review. I'm doing some tests on video editing. So in my opinion, the tool that it's the best alternative to Final Cut Pro 10. Now, why do I use Final Cut Pro 10 and why is it my favorite? Because of its simplicity and because it renders really fast. And this software, which is Filmora, which is available for macOS, and for Windows does exactly that and a few more things that I want to share with you. And one of the advantages is that at this moment, for example, I'm using this Asus Dash F15, which is a great laptop to take advantage of the hardware, but want to get more or less the same experience. Now, in this particular case, Filmora, we did a video about four years ago. So if you want a comparison of the evolution, you can check it right over here. At this moment, I'm still using the better version 11. And if you watch this video before 17th of January 2022, you still will be able to join in the better try for yourself and probably win a prize to qualify for that. Now, talking about rendering times, which is something that I want to leave towards the end of the video, but just to give you an idea how they have evolved. At this moment, my MacBook Pro renders a 11 minutes more or less timeline 1080 in roughly 2 minutes and 17 seconds. And if I use Filmora, it will render in 2 minutes and 34 seconds. So very, very close to Final Cut. And if I use this Asus right over here, it will take only 1 minute and 37 seconds. So that is just awesome. Now, my requirements for a tool for video editing. It has to be a fluid tool. It has to be fast to edit and cut. It has to multi-camera uh, capabilities or audio sync so that I can then change my angles even if I do manually and of course a fast rendering as we have talked. Now the audio sync is new on version 11 before we only had on Filmora Pro and at this moment it's available on the 11th version. I'm really happy to see this and actually on the features that I want to share with you this is the one that I really really enjoyed that I would like to suggest is instead of just watching me right over here I would suggest to take a look at the link down below check it out because there is a free trial version you can test it out now on this particular video what i want to share with you is my favorite things that i find right over here and the way that i can adapt my workflow right over here and improve it different from mac os is that on the windows side we will find a mode which is called the instant mode it has 98 or 99 templates ready to use. We just need one click, import our footages, and it will create something really, really cool and save us a lot of time. In my particular case, the creative part of the video is the one that takes more time. It's like they say it's magic happening because they will lay out a idea for you. And then we can make some changes. I will be using macOS for most of the time and you will be seeing my macOS screen right over there. But have in mind that the Windows version is almost the same and towards the end of the video I'll do a small tour right over here so that you can see just a few differences. Now starting with the project. Now this follows the other versions. It's really easy to create a project but it has a really simple and nice tool which is the visualization of which kind of project do I want. Do I want a screen for YouTube? Do I want for Instagram? Do I want for TikTok? And of course I can do this on any other software but right over here for someone that is not used to edit videos it's really simple. Okay I want this format because I want to upload it to Instagram and that's it. The way that we import media is the same that we have seen for the past few years. Very easy. And then we have the audio synchronization which we can synchronize audio and video so that we don't waste time. Now this video that I'm recording at this moment I have this angle that you are seeing right over here. I've got the screen recording of the Asus Dash F15 and I've got the audio separated right over here. So I will need to join these three and synchronize them because I don't have time to clapping hands and then adjusting manually. This this was in 1980s, not right now. So I really love to see the audio synchronization right over here on the Filmora version 11. Now, there is one limitation that I did find and I only can sync two clips at the time. One video and one Actually, I only had one audio, so it's possible that we can synchronize more audio clips, but video clips I can only synchronize one at a time but what I did was I did synchronize the first two and after that I did synchronize the third one which is usual what I use two video angles and one audio track 
and it worked great so after that i can just start using it start doing my cuts and it will work really really nice it has a new feature as well which is the speed ramping and we also had in the past the speed change but not right now they have a few templates that will help our process um, it's really easy to use you will find templates called like montage hero bullet jumper and flash but basically what it means is that it will give you several different speeds on the same clip so if you have a clip that you want to show a part faster and then you want to slow it down so you can see that i don't know if you do some sports like skate or surf or bodyboard or something like that and then speed it around to the normal or faster then it's just really nice now one thing that i don't use that much are the masks with a few exceptions but they also integrated a new way of working with masks that we can just put in on our video clips and in a few seconds we will have a preview of how it will look so although i don't use i really value it and it's great now in terms of the navigation of the project which is something that it's really important to me because i need to be constantly going forward and backward and editing and cutting here and there so the filmora software it's fast and it's fluid so i don't see any issues whatsoever it's getting better and better it's not not as fast as final cut pro 10 yet but it's really really close besides the traditional cutting tool which will cut one clip at each time there is now on the timeline a scissor sign that we just need to click once and it will cut all the clips that are on that direction so for example if i need to cut a scene right over here because i did any mistake so this is one of the tools that's really interesting we just need to press and then select the other cut press delete and it will join the project without any issues really really fast one thing that i don't use is transitions but for those of you that want transitions then great news they have a lot of them i think it's 233 it's a huge library in the past we have seen these transitions but the library keeps on growing and growing and you have a lot to choose from. and i do believe that we will spend more time choosing which one do we want than using which using it's really fast we just need to uh, select it put it on our timeline and that is it they also have integrated the stock media footage royalty free footage that we can use and of course we can just grab from any site that has royalty free and then import to our project but right over here they implemented this stock media folder and what it does is that it's going to grab uh, images videos and uh, gifs from the pixabay uh, giphy and unsplash and giphy i'm almost sure that you have tried on your phone to send a gif to your friends or something like that unsplash we have seen on one of my previous videos where we did change the android tv background we did use images from unsplash and pixabay is more for royalty free footage we also find a audio library with royalty free uh, audio tracks and also sound effects we will also find a few animated titles and when I mean a few we are talking more precisely to 276 titles animated titles that we can just put in our project now the effects uh, is something that it comes from the past already but they have improved and they have also added more things you have some filters overlays lots lots is something that i really enjoy allow us in a quick way to use a lot that is pre-created and will change the color of my video so if i want something more cinematic or if i want to go uh, harry potter style for example which is one of the lots that it's there or batman or something like that really really cool and then we also find the elements which are 333 elements we will find cartoons um, animations we will find arrows for example sometimes i lose so much time finding a png arrow and then doing an animation and right over here is just click and drag to the project and there we go there i have an arrow so it will save a lot of our time depending on the way that we work there's a tool which is really useful sometimes which is the split screen really easy to use so once again i do this manually but this tool is really really fast to use and easy now talking about the rendering times which i did already shared in the beginning the timeline that i did test out as 10 minutes and 50 something seconds so 11 minutes more or less and it renders really really fast now final cut pro 10 still is the fastest my macbook pro took 2 minutes and 17 seconds running on final cut pro 10 and the same macbook pro took 
2 minutes and 34 seconds running on Filmora, but it's just awesome. And then this Windows computer right over here, which is great hardware, it took 1 minute and 37 to render that same project, which is really, really nice. Now, as I promised at the beginning, although macOS version is almost the same as Windows version, at least in terms of looks, in terms of the way that it works, nonetheless, I will do a small guide it to right over here. Now, this is where we import our media and we will, uh, if I want to import more uh, files, I can just go here and open. And sorry if it's in Portuguese, but uh, some menus are in Portuguese, some are in English my system is in Portuguese. Now, if I look at um, here, you will see a plus sign. So if I want to put this uh, on my timeline, just need to press here and it will put it on the timeline. Of course, I can drag it and put it right over here and do a B-roll, for example. So if I'm talking about something and then uh, this actually was to create a timeline, I think a timeline or a thumbnail or something like that. So this is the area that we are going to work. I have got the preview right over here with some tools right over here, which in my opinion, once again, you should try it out, discover, and it's really, really nice to cover new software and try the functions. Now, on this side, we have the preview. On the left side, we have this navigation panel. There are a few templates included, 10 templates, which we can use. And on top of those templates, just replace with our own footage, and it works great. If I scroll around, I've got the stock media that we have talked about. I've got the audio, the titles, the transitions, effects, elements, split screen, which is a great tool right over here. Also, uh, this is a really uh, important button in my opinion. If I press, I will have my uh, functions right over here, at least the main functions. As you can see, masks that I did show before. It's okay, we are going to work. And then once we have the project uh, finished, I can just go to exports. And right over here, there's another very useful tool, which is if I don't know which format should I upload because I'm starting out, then I can go by device or I can, okay, I'm going to uh, YouTube. I just need to log in or Vimeo or if I want to DVD, I'm not really sure if we still use DVDs. I believe that some will do. If I know what I want, then I can choose the several formats right over here and it will give me an idea of the size that it's going to export. So what I'm going to expect. We also have some advanced settings right over here, which we can select and customize the way that we want and basically that is it at the end of the day what we all want is to have the best project possible on the fastest time possible and these kind of tools which are very simple and the example is Final Cut Pro 10 and Filmora but Filmora is more with a lot of tools that Final Cut doesn't have at least from scratch you can put in plugins and things like that to achieve this kind of results but Filmora is a tool that already brings a lot of stuff so if you are looking for a tool like this Check the link down below and see it for yourself. Install on your Mac OS or Windows computer. Possible, leave some feedback down below so that we can share with this great community. And for today, this is it. Hope that the video was helpful in some way. And if it was, don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George. And as always, I'll see you guys on the next.